Many people are interested in doing a hair analysis to look at their toxic metal levels. They want to assess their levels of lead, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, aluminum, and others. So in this video, I want to show you a toxic metal assessment that I do on a hair analysis and how the first test is not really a good depiction of your toxic metal levels and that there's more to the story. So for those who don't know, toxic metals are a very serious problem. They are the direct cause of many health issues. They cause uh, so much dysfunction in the body in different ways. Some affect the brain, actually most affect the brain, um, but they really cause havoc in the body. And today we're exposed to a high level of toxic metals from industrialization. So they're hard to avoid and we all experience low-level exposure of toxic metals. Mercury, for example, is in uh, all seafood, and so anyone who eats seafood is exposed to mercury. It's also in the air due to the burning of coal and power plants just disperse it all over the environment. And the same is true for many of the other toxic metals. Some people are exposed to high amounts of certain toxic metals, and this can occur in really any situation. You don't necessarily have to be a, a miner or a welder to be exposed to heavy amounts of toxic metals. For example, lead used to be used in paint, and so old house structures were usually painted with lead-based paint, and uh, over time, it disintegrates, turns into dust, and you can breathe in uh, lead that way and get a heavy dose of lead. Again, the same is true for many of the other toxic metals. There's so many avenues of exposure that um, you really have to be careful. And no test is really ideal for toxic metals. Blood tests only show toxic metals soon after exposure. Then the body either eliminates what it can or it they are stored in different body tissues. Now a hair test, because it is showing you a longer period of time, hair, hair analysis measures about three or four months of mineral levels in your hair, the average over the three or four months. You can detect toxic metal exposure to a greater degree. But no test measures all of the toxic metals, and no test measures all of the toxic metals that are in your body. Hair testing is just showing what's showing up in your hair at that particular time. But we can get a good assessment of a person's toxic metal status, especially when we look at other parts of the test. And in that way, we get an indirect assessment of a person's toxic metal status, about a person's overall toxicity. But in this video, I wanna just review what I have here is two tests from one of my clients, and this is uh, his first test on the left from 2015. And on the right is his test from 2022, so seven years later. And I just wanna go over a common thing that I find on first tests and future tests. So if you look at the toxic metal section in the bottom left here on his first test, you'll notice that a lot of these toxic metals are low. So lead, mercury, cadmium, there's no bars in that section, so it indicates lower levels. Arsenic, you got one bar here, but that's still a relatively low level. And then aluminum, there actually is some aluminum in his hair, which is very common. Uh, everyone has some aluminum because aluminum is probably the most widely dispersed toxic metal in the environment. So everyone's going to show some aluminum. Now, a common mistake people make is they will think that, well, okay, uh, we're free of these other toxic metals. These aren't causing any problem and uh, don't really need to worry about it. They're probably not related to my health issues. The truth is, though, as I explained earlier, that this is only showing you what's what has accumulated in the hair over the last three or four months. 
often with toxic metals, they are buried deeper in the body. They accumulate in various organs, the brain, the liver, kidneys, etc. So they cause dysfunction there, and they may not show up in the hair. Some people have a pattern called poor elimination, where they have extremely low levels of toxic metals, and it indicates that they're having a, they have a problem eliminating toxic metals, so the body is retaining them instead. Now, this client doesn't uh, necessarily have that pattern. He actually has some uh, toxic metals coming out just in very small amounts, so he doesn't seem to have that problem. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't have toxic metals stored elsewhere in the body. And to my point, when we look at his hair test seven years later on the left here, we see that the toxic metal section looks much different. It looks much different, and he actually has high amount of lead, high amount of mercury, high amount of cadmium, and a higher amount of aluminum on this test, nickel as well, if we look over here. So what happened here seven years later? Well, um, over the seven years that he was doing hair testing and nutritional therapy, his toxic metal levels were um, going up and down, and there was an increase in some of the levels, especially lead. He seemed to have an issue with lead. But this test showed the biggest increase in toxic metals. And so I chose this one to show you. Now, it, it's possible that this person was exposed to all of these toxic metals over the past several months before he did this hair test. But what's more likely is that this is an elimination of stored toxic metals. Now, this client wasn't necessarily following the nutrition program that I recommended to the greatest degree. In the beginning, when he first started doing hair testing in 2015, for the first couple of years, he was following, he was taking all the supplements, he was following the diet that I recommended, and uh, doing a lot of the different procedures that are recommended in this program. And um, But he was, dur during this time, he was doing sauna therapy, and that's something that he was doing over the years, consistently. He was using a sauna regularly. He had, he had, he had built one uh, using my instructions, and he was using this sauna on a regular basis. And so what's more likely is that he, he is eliminating these toxic metals that have been stored in his body. And this, for most people, starts early in life. It starts in the womb, where mothers pass on toxic metals to their children. So um, I don't know necessarily where he accumulated all of these toxic metals, but this is not something that's hard to do today. Um, and in fact, most people have this problem. So what did this elimination of toxic metals mean for his health? This guy, he had come to me originally with Graves disease, which is a hyperthyroid condition. And his symptoms were, you know, very high blood pressure, diarrhea, a rapid heart rate, he had skipped heartbeats. So th these are common symptoms of hyperthyroidism. And he was taking uh, about four or five drugs for these symptoms. And within about a year, he was able to get off all of the drugs that he was taking for Graves' disease and hyperthyroidism. And again, he had eliminations of toxic metals throughout that time, but nothing um, to the extent that's showing on this test, which is why I'm showing you this test. So he was able to get off of all those drugs. His thyroid tests normalized mostly, except for his TSH test, his thyroid stimulating hormone test, was still a little bit out of range. But he was able to get off all the tests, get off all the drugs, and uh, most of his symptoms had cleared up. And recently, after he did this test, he had told me that all of his thyroid tests have result, uh, have become normal, including the 
TSH test. And that was on two consecutive visits to his endocrinologist. So his disease, his Graves' disease, like many other diseases, appears to have been caused mainly by excessive toxic metals in his body. Mercury and lead, cadmium, aluminum, and probably others. These all cause all types of problems for your health, all types of problems in your body. So to review here, when you do a hair analysis and it doesn't show any toxic metals, or it shows low levels of certain toxic metals, it doesn't mean that you are free of those toxic metals. Toxic metals are often stored in other places and are only revealed in the hair after you do something to dislodge them from those storage spaces. Something like nutritional therapy, something like sauna therapy. These things are gonna help the body eliminate toxic metals and often when that happens, you can see them in the hair. So I do not use hair analysis mainly just to t detect toxic metals. I use it to design a nutrition program for people and a, a broader healing program for people that's gonna help them remove toxic metals regardless of what's showing up on the test. So I hope that gives you some perspective into what hair analysis is and in relation to toxic metals and what we can do nutritionally to help people resolve various health problems.